every short embryo of Ali Abdal uses the same effect and that effect is the newspaper recall effect and I will show you how you simply create this effect yourself but there's one important thing I'm gonna use assets and these assets are completely for free and you can get them by joining my free community it's in the link in the description now let's jump into it we'll create the exact same thing that I showed you before as the end result and this is a episode of Ali Abdal's latest short as you can see that paper effect he uses all the time and especially in elements like this uh, as you can see it reveals itself with a newspaper now we'll also create these titles which aren't that hard to make actually so we'll start first with the uh, beginning animation as i said you do need some assets and for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to use ali abdal's clip but just use your own clip maybe record something yourself or maybe you have a client or something else we'll add the paper fold.jpg and this is a paper sequence that i created myself which you can download in the description by joining our free community now i also have some assets that i just downloaded from the internet and that is this uh, newspaper uh, you can also just get a, another newspaper like this one um, again use your creativity if you have some newspaper laying around maybe just take a photo i think that's even better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a tint to make it black and white and a invert to make it inverted i'm gonna scale this up I'm gonna rotate it let's scale it up and i'm gonna add a turbulent displace to make it a bit more paper like i'm gonna keyframe the evolution to maybe here maybe two times let's see how that looks if that's quick enough or not maybe a bit too quick but we're gonna add a posterize time, change the frame rate really low, and then we're gonna check it again. I think actually this works pretty good. Now I'm gonna add our stuff. Now let's put this masking layer that we created, or that I created, um, let's put it above this uh, layer. I'm gonna rotate it, so it's a bit like this. I'm gonna scale it, and I'm gonna make sure it's a bit like this. Change this track mat. If you don't see this, by the way, just click the toggle switches modes and then press the paper fold. Now we're going to turn the paper fold off. And what's important is that this is a Luma mat, not the alpha mat. So click on the alpha mat selected and I'm going to go through frame by frame so you can see the effect happening. As you can see, it's a nice paper effect. Of course, it's not real realistic. In the ideal situation, you just want a real paper. You uh, crumble it in front of a green screen or something like that. Uh, but I want to show you how to do it with After Effects and no plugins, things like that. Making it as accessible as possible. That's what I try to create with these tutorials. So I'm going to go to project because I'm now going to add his head. And here we have Ali. I just quickly cut them out. Of course, you want to do this in Photoshop. But again, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do it like this. So we have an object and this can be anything. And that's the beauty of this tutorial. Uh, you can use a, a PNG or a JPEG or object, any object for this paper unfold effect. So we're going to unfold his head and we'll do that by again using our paper fold JPEG sequence which we're now gonna scale down like this. And you just need to make sure that it covers the object. So in this case, it's Ali's head. I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna make sure that this starts in a bit later, something like this. So now Ali's uh, beautiful head. This is Ali's beautiful head. I'm gonna change the track map to the paper fold effect. And again, Luma key selected. I'll go through it. And as you can see, it unfolds perfectly. And this is exactly the effect that we want. Now you might ask, I don't see any paper. And that's exactly true. We're gonna add that. And we're gonna add that by adding another newspaper. This time we'll put it under Ali's head. I'm gonna move this over. And it doesn't really matter how it's positioned. As long as it's again covering uh, the object that you want to make appear. And we're gonna change the track mat to Ali's beautiful head. Perfect. Make sure that Ali's beautiful head is still visible. And now we're just gonna move back frame by frame. And this is a bit cumbersome, but we're gonna animate this in. Now, of course, there's other ways to do this, but I experimented and this is really the quickest way. So for the first layer, I'm gonna just make sure that we're at the first layer. I'm gonna mask it by selecting the pen tool and I'm gonna select a specific region, something like this. And I'm gonna press M for the mask tool and I'm gonna keyframe the path. I'm going to go one frame back and I'll make sure that the whole 
path. Go to the select tool, double click on the path, move it away. Then I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. I'm gonna go to the next frame. I'm gonna copy this keyframe over because this will stay a bit like this. So till here, then I'm gonna go to the next frame and I'm gonna change the keyframes. So what you can do is just select like this, just drag your mouse and you can just move these over and make sure that it's, a, it's not perfect. It's a bit jaggedy. And that's why, again, this is the quickest way. Uh, you can just copy this keyframe over and go a bit further, uh, like here, paste, next keyframe. There we go. Copy the keyframe over, copy the keyframe over, and there we go. We're gonna play this and we'll have a perfect paper unfolding effect. There's two more things I wanna show you. First, the text animation, and that's also quite easy. It almost looks written. We do this by adding a text for example, free score guard or scorecard. I'm gonna use the most beautiful font in history. Of course, Comic Sans. No, but for real, if you just use like a goofy font or a bit like not a perfect font, then this would work perfectly. And the best thing is to use the typewriter effect. It's an animate preset that's just in After Effects at which you can use to type this in. And for the last part, the background is really static at this moment. So we need to make sure that this moves. I'll add a new layer, solid. I'm gonna make it black. I'm gonna change the transparency and I'm gonna make sure that this is just a bit more dark. So there's a bit more separation between the background and the foreground. Now we want to move this and that's also really easy guys. You can just select the layer and that will just add a wiggle position. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle position, you just drop that on and then you can change the speed, the amount uh, and the anchor point also or the skill. That's not really needed. You can just play it back, see what it looks like. Um, I think Actually, the uh, speed could be a bit higher, not much higher, maybe two seconds. And then maybe the amount a bit lower so that there's just a bit more motion. You could even, if you want to, but this is a creative choice, change the uh, turbulent displays that we already used before. And you can animate the evolution but because we have the post rest time, it will slowly move anyway. And I actually think that's quite a cool effect. So we could put this on maybe three, see what happens. Then we're gonna play it back. I don't like it per se. I'm just gonna remove it and we're just gonna keep it simple. So it animates in. Make sure the black solid also has the paper fold as the track mat, because otherwise it's also gonna go over the video. And then when you fine tune it a bit, it will look like this. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of these type of videos. And do let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. Thanks for all the positive comments on all my videos lately. And then I'll see you next time. Bye.